I got myself one of these uh, Nightcore i2 chargers lately and I put it to the test to see if it was any good and if I could leave my, my batteries in there without uh, the risk of damage. Also I used to only have these uh, tiny uh, little ones that came with the, uh, with the flashlights along with, with Trustfire batteries and I did not really trust those chargers. So I'll put that one to the test just as well and see uh, if it's safe or not. The charger came in this package and the serial number on the back passed the authenticity test on Nightcore's web server. So it should be the, the real deal. Now here I have a, a battery that I had used for quite a while and it should be discharged but not uh, deep discharge. Three and a half volts, that should be good. Now during the charge process we'll monitor both the current flowing through the battery and the voltage across the battery. Now that's my setup here. I uh, switch on the charger now. Which comes up and Okay, we can't see it charged up yet. Okay, 100 milliamps, and those 100 milliamps should ramp up to um, half an amp in a little while. Yep, here we go. So it's, it's charging now. And that will take quite a bit. We don't have to watch the whole process. So I'll speed things up a bit and pause again when it becomes interesting for us to watch. By the way, to make contact with the uh, uh, terminals, I use a uh, folded aluminum foil and uh, battery, um, a piece of paper to insulate the, the layers. Okay, now it's dropped down to 100 milliamps again and now came to a standstill. So the charge qu uh, current has gone down significantly. It's apparently stopped at 4.13 volts. Now let's have a look at the other charger, the cheap one. The thing to watch out for is uh, that they, these chargers don't charge the two battery slots separately. So they are really just interconnected here. Um, so if you have two batteries and they're not at the cha same charge level, it's really dangerous to plug them in. I, I would strongly advise against that. So I just put that into this yucky strange adapter here. It sparks a little when I put it in. Um, and now let's see how it, how it charges. Oh, the, the meter is still in AC mode. Yeah, here we go. So it's uh, charging at a significantly lower rate than the Nightcore charger. So we'll just wait for the green light to come on and see if it goes down. Yep, current's gone down, the green lights come on. And we are at 4.3 volts, which is somewhat higher than the, uh, the Nightcore charger. Well, with regards to this one, I stand corrected. This is actually a pretty decent charger for the, for the money that it cost. It was like two bucks or something. Uh, but beware, you never know what's cheap on the Shenzhen market and the thing you order tomorrow might have a totally different um, circuit in it than it has today. Now, that one was not much of a surprise. It was what I read on the internet. It's a good charger. Uh, it doesn't get warm, it makes some funny noises, but um, well, it's not bad altogether. I quite like it and I'll keep it.